Hey, what's up guys? Today we are building a about $1,200 PC. This thing absolutely shreds uh, first person shooter games and does pretty well in cyberpunk. So we'll just get right into the components. And FYI guys, I actually had all of these components from a prior business. Um, so I'm putting the retail prices here, but I'm actually selling this for a lot less than retail. Uh, I just wanted to do retail pricing to give you an idea what, what it would go for if you were buying everything new. Obviously you can get some of these components used as well and uh, do a little bit cheaper. So starting things off, um, we use the um, NVIDIA GeForce 2070 Super. And these new are still going for kind of more than I was expecting. Um, this is the Founders Edition, so that's probably part of it. But um, great card, still does really well. Uh, then next, we're pairing with the Ryzen 5 3600. Again, this card is just a super good value card. Uh, you can get them for 100 bucks, So uh, a lot of value, and these things really do rip. For our cooler, we use the Thermaltake. Flow 360. To be honest, I'm not that impressed with this cooler, especially for being a 360 millimeter radiator. Uh, but like I said, we I already had them, so uh, why not use it? But uh, it does get the job done. Motherboard is the Aorus uh, X570 Elite. Um, again, just kind of a, a value motherboard, and it looks like you can get these brand new for 163, so not too bad. Uh, memory was an old uh, SSD I had. So obviously, if you can use it, get an M.2, you'd do that. But um, for a terabyte, 50 bucks, not too bad. I built this in the Lian Landcool 216. So I, this is the one thing that I actually bought brand new. Um, I think I actually paid a little bit more when I bought mine. But for 120 bucks, this is a great case. You'll see me building in it. It's super easy to build in. It looks cool. So if you're going for, you know, your kind of mid, mid tower size case, I do recommend it. Um, it's pretty good. RAM, man, I just had this old crappy RAM left around. You can do way better than this. But um, I did put 32 gigabytes in it, and it's uh, 3,200 megahertz. So not terrible, but certainly not the best. And uh, the PSU is uh, Thermaltake RGB uh, 750 watt, fully modular. So uh, you can't really even see the RGB, so I'm not sure what the point of that is, but um, decent, decent power supply. So we'll actually get into the build video here in just a second. Um, I did run benchmark, so I did Cyberpunk and Rainbow Six Siege. And at 1080p and Rainbow Six Siege, this PC was shredding for 300 frames per second. So again, this is like 12, 1300 bucks brand new, 1275 brand new. You probably do a little bit better on some of the components. Um, call it, you know, 1250 or whatever. But it was doing 300 frames per second on ultra settings at 1080p and Rainbow Six Siege. And then as you'll see in the uh, screenshot at the end of the build video, uh, we were getting like 60 frames per second at uh, 1440 in Cyberpunk and almost 90 frames per second at uh, 1080p. So look, these are all four, three, four, five-year-old components, but man, they still get the job done. So if you are looking to build and wanting, you know, is something kind of in this price range, you know, you can kind of consider some of these options. Again, I already had all of these components, so this isn't exactly what I would choose. But um, nevertheless, it gives you an idea of what kind of performance you can get with uh, comparable parts. So let's get into the uh, build video. <laughs> 